Hey, watch where you're going. <sighs> Why I'm running into halls is none of your concern. You know, I could be serious. Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy! Where are you? Saw you running here, Jimmy. Where are you? Oh, crap. Director Richards is coming for me. Y you gotta hide me. What do you mean you won't? You bumped into me. Y you're the hall monitor? Crap. Hey, no, please. Please don't say a word to him. Please. If I get caught one more time, Jimmy, I... Jimmy, you little <laughs> punk, I'll find you. Oh, he's coming. Shoot. Uh, here, Jimmy! Come this way. In here. The locker. Jimmy! Shush. Jimmy! I swear I saw you in here. Get my hands on you. It's going to be three months' detention. Where are you, huh? You rascal. There comes a time in every man's life. Oh God, oh crap. Okay, look. I'm sorry if I have my hand over your mouth. I just need to get out of this one. Please. Just, just don't make a single sound that could catch his attention. Uh, oh, he's really angry. Hey, don't move so much. Are you claustrophobic or something? Don't answer that. He might notice us. Uh, uh, I know that we're really, you know, close together right now, but it's going to be a quick minute. Just endure a little bit longer. Uh, huh? What are you do? Ow! Ow! Hey, you bit me! What's wrong with you? What do you think you're- you good! There you are, you little punk. Oh, shit. Uh, hey. Director Richards, uh, how, how you doing? What uh, is this? What is this? What are you doing, huh? Get up on your feet, son. Be a man for once in your life. Get up! I can't believe you sometimes. Running from authority, hiding from the law. Do you really think you can get away with all those things, Mr. Santos? N no. No, sir. N no, sir -y. You know, you got a real attitude problem, Jimmy. Someone ought to straighten you out. Straighten me out? What, are you calling me gay or something? Huh, <laughs> very funny, Jimmy. Everything is just a big joke to you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it kinda is a joke. Huh, <laughs> you must think you have a future in comedy, don't you? Well, let me tell you something funny, man. I know people like you. You don't have a future. Troublemakers like you won't succumb to anything in society. You're an outcast, a delinquent, a degenerate. Don't you ever think about what would happen to you in 10 years? You disgust me, Jimmy. Ooh, I'm so crushed. <laughs> well, you might as well be. After I tell the police on what you did to this young lady. H huh? I, I didn't even do anything to her. <laughs> oh, I... yeah, sure. <laughs> like hiding in the locker with her isn't anything. Uh... Are you okay? Are you fine? Are you hurt? He didn't hurt you, did he? <sighs> okay, that's good. You see, this young lady and I, we're gonna go to the police. We're gonna report exactly what you tried to do to her. But, but that's not fair. I didn't even do anything to her. You could ask her yourself. Oh, yeah? Who are they going to believe? Me? A respectable man of this establishment? Or some low-life junkie like you? I didn't even do anything wrong. Don't try to make a fool out of me, Mr. Santos. You, come with me. Let's report this to the prince of- Huh? Didn't do anything. But you were inside the locker. Hmm. You, he called him here. And he was helping you, what? Clean the lockers. He was helping you clean the lockers. So you're saying you called Jimmy here to help you clean, and that's why he skipped class. Listen, Dick, I mean Richards. I think she's telling the truth. She's ought to be. She is the hall monitor, after all. Shut your mouth, Jimmy. I can't believe it. So let me get this clear. He's not skipping class whatsoever. Oh, well, so be it then. You are the hall monitor, after all. 
So I will take your word for it. But mark my words, Jimmy. Mark my words. Every mistake, every mess up, every screw up in your no good life, I'll be there. I'll be watching. And when I catch you red-handed once again, you're a dead man, you hear me? Eat my shorts. What was that? Eat my shorts. You've got lots of nerve, Tim. And you've got a balding spot. <laughs> right. That's it. Detention for you. You think you can get away with everything, don't you, Jimmy? Oh, uh, yeah, I can. This is exactly why no one thinks anything of you, Jimmy. And as for you, Hall Monitor, since you're the one who called him here to help you clean the lockers, you watch over him. What I mean is you're going to detention with him to watch over him. Because I'm certainly not doing that. Uh, 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 not another word. He's your responsibility. Go to the classroom now. Unless Jimmy here has some final remarks. <laughs> That's what I thought. Go! Now leave. Out of my sight! God. Kids these days. Mm. Oh, God. Finally. I thought he'd never shut the hell up. I'm so glad we got Director Richards out of our hands. He won't ever shut up about me. He's always saying, Jimmy, you won't succeed. Jimmy, you're a failure. Jimmy, you're a loser. Could you believe that guy? What does he know, right? Uh, yeah. He's such a pain in my ass. <sighs> Hello? I'm talking to you. What's with the silent treatment? Are you mad or something? Huh. Come on. Why you gotta be so mad? We did it. We did it. That, that was awesome, you know? It was kind of exciting. We just totally escaped Director Richard's evil grasp. Huh. I didn't think you had it in you. Oh. What? You're seriously mad about that? Dude. It's not like we're actually going to go to detention, right? You're the one watching over us. We can always just, you know, leave. We don't actually have to attend detention. Oh, come on. It's not like anyone's gonna find out. I know you're the hall monitor and you have responsibilities. Okay? But I don't really care about responsibilities. Not everybody could be Little Miss Perfect. Okay? All, all right, all right, I'm sorry, jeez. I gotta thank you, though. You had my back back there. You had to lie to Director Richard's face. It's pretty hardcore. Kind of cool. Hmm? Uh, what do you mean you did it because you pitied me? Y you You pitied me? And that's why you got me out of that situation? I, I, I don't want your pity. Who do you think I am? Some low life? <laughs> and here I thought you were actually kind of cool. Guess I was wrong about you. <laughs> oh yeah, well what are you gonna do about it, sweetie? Hey, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Don't tell Director Richards. Hey, no. Okay, no, please, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just please don't tell Director Richards. I was just joking around. Lighten up. Huh. Oh no. Do we really have to go in there? I mean, it's our last chance to not attend detention. Why don't you live a little? Life's too short, you know. How about we go out and we eat dinner or something? You see, that's so much better than hanging out in the detention room. Oh, come on, please. Please, I'm begging you. I don't want to attend detention right now. I just can't. Well, I don't care. Come on, what can I do to change your mind? I'll do anything. Literally anything. What do you want me to do? Uh. Uh. 
you want me to do? What? A TikTok dance? <laughs> You're a weirdo. Why would you ever want to TikTok dance for me? That's super cringe. Because you think it'd be cute? No, no, no. <laughs> you have no idea who you're messing with, buddy. I'm like the meanest guy on the block. I'm a total nutcase. What makes you think that I would do a TikTok dance for anyone, huh? What makes you think I'm gonna dance around like a puppet for you? Really? R really, you'd let me skip the tension if I just did it? Uh, all right. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. Uh, just just tell me which song. Which song do you want me to dance to? You freaking cringe lord weirdo. It's a... Huh? Th th there's no way I'm doing that song. Absolutely no way that I am going to dance to that weirdo song. All right. <laughs> yeah. Over my dead body. Huh. Hey, whoa, whoa, where are you going? Hey, okay, 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 there's no need to tell Director Richards that I asked you to skip the tension, okay? I'll do your stupid TikTok dance. <laughs> God. Oh, I can't believe you've actually blackmailed me into this. You're blackmailing me. Do I at least get a choice of song here? End of my misery right now. <clears throat> How did you even bring your phone in here? I thought we couldn't bring gadgets to school. You snuck it in? Huh. <laughs> Guess you aren't that much of a goody two-shoes after all. It's fine to break the rules every once in a while. Wait, you're not gonna post this on TikTok, are you? You're just gonna save it? All right, because if I see this on TikTok and everyone's raving about it, I'm coming for you next. Let's just do it, okay? Let's just, just go. Uh, are you recording? Okay. Uh, I'm taking a chance because I like you a lot, so I'll give it a shot. Give it all that I've got. Lolly da di da lolly da di di Suddenly you call my name and I lose my brain and I float up to the moon. I want to die. Lolly da di da lolly da di di When you laugh, it makes me smile and I love your style. So I wrote a song to this tune. I hate you. Thank you, stars, for giving to me the greatest gift that's still yet to be. This is the worst. I don't mind if fate's playing games. I want to die. I'm happy all the same I am not happy it's so hard to say it but darling let's face it these feelings revealing cannot be ignored so I work on this ladder till our timing gets better sincerely yours truly and forevermore I can't believe I just did that I cannot live with myself I'm gonna jump off a building now Okay. Hmm. Hmm? Hey, what's so funny? Uh, I only did this because you told me to, you understand? Uh, God, you're such a loser. Huh. Oh, and you also find it cute, huh? That little video of me dancing? Yeah, we'll laugh all you want. But just remember that while we were together in the locker, you were blushing. Yeah, I noticed. You were blushing. And we were so, so close to each other. <laughs> yes, you were. I saw you. Oh, I see that you're blushing right now, come to think of it. I wonder how hard I can make you blush. If I slowly walk towards you and pin you against the wall with my arm like this, <laughs> I wouldn't suspect for the hall monitor to be blushing so hard when there's a delinquent literally right in front of them. You must have a thing for bad guys, don't you, goody-two-shoes? 
That's a nice nickname for you, Miss Hall Monitor. I thought you were supposed to be the moral standard for this school, but yet here you are, flirting with me. <laughs> I told you, I'm the toughest guy around here. So, what do you say about it, cutie? Let's get out of here, since we skipped attention. You know, get some dinner. I'll take good care of you. Yeah, let's dip this place. <laughs> oh, sanctuary. Freedom at last. <laughs> what I tell you, this is so much better than staying in school. That place is hell on earth. Ah, I'm so glad we ditched attention. Hmm? What? Are you a little nervous that we broke the rules? <laughs> Come on. Don't be so goody two-shoes. Well, I don't know if your parents might find you here. That's the thing. I really don't care. I mean, of course I'd care if I'd get suspended, but that's only if I got caught, right? <laughs> uh, feels good to be bad. Have they ever caught me before? Uh, yeah, actually, they have. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't thanks to your cute ass, I wouldn't be able to get out of that last predicament I was in. So, you know, thanks a lot, again, for earlier. Uh, yeah, I guess I did call you cute. <laughs> uh, you know what, how about we uh, go somewhere? How about we head to the park? Shouldn't be a problem, right? I believe it's around... That way. Hmm. Follow me. Hmm? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they call me Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy Santos. I'm 17 years old. How about you? Huh, awesome. Awesome. All right, sure. Uh... I seem like a bully. Well, I won't lie to you. I guess you could call me that. I did have to steal some money from some nerds back in school. But I need the money to survive, you know. Those guys, they've got their video games and their stupid card games and their Yu-Gi-Oh cards or whatever. Well, me, I, I, I don't got anything. I don't got none of that. I have to work for what I have. You know, it's tough. In the streets, it's all about survival. And there's no honor among thieves, but sometimes I feel like it's just me against the world. And the world can be a pretty cruel place sometimes. It sucks. Sometimes it's good to be alone, you know? Hmm. Hmm? Then why am I with you right now? Oh, I don't know. I've got a knack for adorable tsundere girls like you. Always so stuck up. And very enforcing of the rules. But deep down sometimes you just want to break away and break free. You want to break the rules sometimes. Maybe even be a bad girl. <laughs> oh, what? No, I'm joking, I'm joking. That's not what I meant at all. <laughs> See? Adorable. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are adorable. You know what? It's ridiculous trying to argue with you. I'm not even going to try. Hmm? What? Me and Director Richards? <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with that guy. He's got such a stick up his ass. He acts like he cares for me and everything, but I don't see it. He's saying that everything he's doing for me is for my own good. <laughs> yeah, right. As if staying in school is going to do me any good. What? No, education is not important. No, it's not. No. What's the point of learning anything? My future? Like I give two craps about my future, we're all just going to end up as worm food on the ground anyways. I literally see no point to it. Uh, my parents? Uh, well, how do I put this to you nicely, uh, my parents are gone, they're, they're dead, 
They died when I was five. You idiot. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, I, I'm used to it. What are we talking about? Look, look, look. The point is, what's the point of an education? I just want to live in the moment. You know, the now. I don't care about my future. That's what I'm trying to say. That's the point I'm trying to make here. Hmm. Well, what do you know? You don't know a single thing about me. You think it's because you have a family and a good life and a nice home to live under. You think you suddenly know more than I do. <laughs> what a joke. I'm afraid that's not how it works in the real world. Because in the real world, you've got problems, you've got enemies, and you've got failures. Gosh, you really don't know what you're talking about. You should really watch what you're saying because you're starting to piss me the hell off. <sighs> oh, breathe, Jimmy. Uh, I I'm sorry. I, I, I exploded a little bit there. There was no right for me to take that out on you. I, I didn't mean what I said. <sighs> I've got a lot of issues, all right. At least I have the boss to admit it. <sighs> it's not your fault. I just have a lot of anger towards the world. I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't think I like it. It's not normal. You know, sometimes I feel like the anger makes me stronger or whatever, but it's just dumb. It's so stupid, it hinders me from being the best me I could possibly be. Why am I so mad? Well, sometimes I feel like I'm robbed of my potential or my youth or whatever. Growing up without parents really make me crave for guidance. And the people who did raise me, <laughs> they didn't even care. I mean, what am I supposed to do with that? They don't care if, if, if I drop dead right now. They don't care. I don't even know why they gave me a home. Why they even bought it to shelter me. They even put me through school, but in reality, they just really don't care. I don't know if I'm unlucky or whatever. That's why I just have to act so tough. Because it's a cold, cold world out there. And I was left alone. But... Honestly, I just feel like I need some advice. Someone there to hold me. This world is a scary place. I don't know if I can deal with it alone. I've been dealing with it alone for years now. I don't know how much of it I can take. I don't like being mad all the time. I, I, I don't like being angry. I, I want to leave a mark on this world. I want to be useful for once in my life, and I feel like it's wrong to put the blame on the people who've raised me, or my dead parents, or whatever, because it's, it's what I do with my life. It's my decision. But I'm so lost. I don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> look, look at you. And look at me. I almost uh, cried there. <laughs> I think you would have been the first person to see me cry. But you didn't. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I've never really opened up to anyone like this before. It's, uh, it's stupid. Oh, oh God, you are, you almost saw me cry. You actually did see me cry because I would have had to kill you. No, no. I'm, I'm just joking. I may be a mean-spirited individual, but I'd never hurt you. Huh? You want to give me a hug? Well, why? To comfort me. <laughs> I don't need your comfort. I'm, I'm a tough guy. I'm, I'm real super tough. <laughs> I, oh, wh wh what are you doing? No, no, stay back. What are you doing? You better keep your distance or else I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have to kiss you. Yeah, you better stay back or I'll have to kiss you. Uh, your face is pretty close to me right now. Could you imagine if we actually leaned in and started kissing? 
<laughs> Aw, aren't you two a sweet couple? What the who the hell are Alex? <laughs> Hey there, Jimmy. Fancy meeting you here. What, what, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> what do you mean? This is my turf, dork. I don't know what you're doing here, but you stay the hell away from me. I'm not looking for any trouble. Me? I'm looking for trouble? Aw, don't you miss me, Jimmy. All right, listen to me. This guy is pretty dangerous. Get away from here. I want you to go. Go! Run! Hey, hey, uh, hey, goody two shoes. Uh, oh, what? Uh, I'm fine. I just had a little fight with the guy that we encountered earlier. Uh, don't worry about it. It's just, just a couple of bruises and cuts. Uh, I'm, I'm bleeding. No, I'm not. I'm not bleeding anywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my face. Sorry, I can't see my face, so... I didn't know that there was blood there. I thought the only thing that was dripping out of me was my sweat. <laughs> Guess I was wrong about that. Hmm. Uh, damn that, Alex. The hell does he want with us anyways? That frickin' psychopath. I swear, the next time I see him... Uh, uh, I'll be fine. It's just blood. You know what they say. Pain is only temporary. What are you going to do with that towel? Uh, stop it. I don't need your help. I'm a man. I can take the... Uh, uh, okay, okay, fine. Fine, I'll take it easy. I'll take it easy. Be careful when you touch it. Uh, uh, quit it. I thought you were supposed to be mending my wounds, not make them worse. Jeez, what are you even trying to do with that towel? Wipe my wounds clean? I'll survive. I've been through multiple fights before. Ah, uh, uh, Take it easy, why don't you? Huh? Did I ever win fights? Well, yes, I've won all of the fights. It's just... I didn't think I'd have to fight him. Not him. Mm. Hmm? Who is he? Well, you're gonna know one way or another. All right. So let me tell you exactly who that asshole is. He's a living, breathing psychopath. And a very dangerous man. He leads this notorious gang. God, what did they call themselves? Something stupid. Uh, the, the Midnight Snakes. That's what they call themselves. That dude also has no remorse for his actions. He does crime for the sake of crime. He gets a thrill out of it. That guy is a sadist. <laughs> Trust me. That's why when I saw him close to you, I just had to get on his face. I wanted to punch the smirk out of his mouth. And I did. <laughs> but that's when his two other guys came. <laughs> and then it was three versus me. <laughs> what, he couldn't fight me like a man or something? What a coward. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's just my arm. I think when one of their guys took me out... I landed in a bad way, and I think I might have sprained it or something. Uh. 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 Yeah, you rubbing it actually does make it feel a little better. Uh. Uh. Yeah, keep rubbing it like that. Uh. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Don't stop. Oh, yeah, it's feeling a lot better now. Huh? Why are you calling me an idiot? Y you're an idiot, goody-two-shoes. Huh? 
I mean, yeah, it was a one versus three, but I was pretty sure I could take all of them on. <sighs> Plus, I needed to buy time for you to run away. I don't know what I'd do if you'd gotten hurt with that whole kerfuffle. <sighs> yeah, rub it like that. Hmm? How do I know him? Uh, let's just say I was involved with some bad people back in the day. Very bad company. I... I had to do a lot of things to survive. And Alex is part of my past that I don't want to revisit. I'm sorry. Look, I'm trying to change for the better. I don't want to be an ace degenerate anymore. Ah. Yeah, keep rubbing it like that. Huh? Well, if fighting them makes me an idiot, then I guess I'm the dumbest person in the world. I mean, damn. I was never really the best at school, so... <laughs> I guess you can't really count me for being the smartest. Uh, uh, hmm? What did they want from me? <laughs> well... I suppose it's alright to tell you, but I'm still part of a gang. Look, we, we, we don't do crimes anymore, okay? Sure, we cause trouble here and there, but that's only because we're bored. Honestly, we're just a gang so that we can have each other's backs. We're more like a group of friends, really. But Alex and his midnight uh, snakes or whatever see us as a threat or something for some reason. I told you, that guy has no sense. He's an absolute psycho... <laughs> uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. I feel so much better. Oh, yeah. My neck was starting to sting there. Uh, I think my bruises are swelling up. Mm. Did my gang have a name? Uh, yeah, we call ourselves the Street Cutters. But I told you, we don't, we don't hurt anybody. We're more like a group of friends. Am I the leader? Well, yeah, of course I am. I'm, I'm Jimmy Santos, after all. <laughs> uh, but what does he got planned? Y you know what? You know what? I don't care. I don't care if Alex sends us three guys, ten guys, fifty guys, a hundred guys, a thousand guys, a million guys. I don't really care. I'll do anything to protect you. Do you understand me? Even if I had to crawl my way through, use my teeth if I have to, I'm going to fight each and every single one that tries to mess you up. I'll, I'll be fine. Really. <laughs> you know, it feels a lot better already. I feel so much better now. <sighs> Ooh, ow, owie. Oof. Or maybe not. Maybe a good way to make all the pain go away is if you gave me a kiss in the forehead. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm kidding around. You should know me by now. I just love making you blush. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Uh, wait, what are you doing? Why are you reaching in my chest? Uh, I, I'm not blushing. I, I'm not. I'm not blushing. Why would I ever blush for you, idiot? I... It's just the blood. I'm losing blood, so my face is turning red. You know what? As a matter of fact, your towel seems to be a bit too red there. And my wound won't stop bleeding. Maybe we should buy a bandage or something. You know what? I'll... Get it myself. I... Huh? You want me to stay put. But why? I'm completely capable of buying my own bandages. What, are you afraid that I might scare people with my crimson mask? Nah, I don't think so. You're afraid of me getting hurt? I... Well... Thanks. Are, are you sure you really want to get it on your own? Well, <laughs> if you're that persistent... Sh go ahead. <sighs> I'll be waiting right here. <sighs> Don't worry. I won't beat up the next guy I see. <laughs> you know, your backside looks really cute from afar. Be careful.
You better do it now. Or I'm gonna make the boys let you do it now, okay? You don't have much time anymore. <laughs> alright. Don't forget to take care, alright? <sighs> hey, watch where you're going. Wait a minute. <laughs> Someone's right on cue. You're that Jimmy's girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're that Jimmy's girl. Oh, come on. Don't don't hide your face to me. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm just... Um, um, I'm just uh, chilling in this convenience store. Nothing special, really. <laughs> what? It's my turf. I can do literally whatever I want. Are you crazy? Oh, I'm sorry, right? You're in a very panicky mood, isn't it? What seems to be the problem? Hold on, hold on, let me guess. Oh, I feel like um, Jimmy's hurt or something. Like he's bleeding and he's bruised up. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Don't get mad at me, little girl. I didn't do anything. Well, I didn't directly do anything. I personally just... I haven't... I didn't witness anything, really. <laughs> I've been told news about it. You know, news flies very fast. And the walls have ears and something. Thesaurus something. <laughs> hey. I know he's kind of hurt. So let me help you out, alright? The bandages are over there. Don't worry, I can wait. All right. Yeah. Hello. Hey. But yeah, yeah, yeah. She's here. Don't worry. Yeah, I can take this all by myself now. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Just take care of Jimmy for me. Thank you. Hmm? No, I wasn't talking to someone. I, I wasn't, really. <laughs> you know, you can stop being such a snoop, alright? You only have one job right now, and that is to uh, take care of that poor, poor little Jimmy. Stop going into other people's business, alright? <laughs> you don't want this noise, okay, girl? <laughs> so enough about my, um... Uh, my businesses. Where's the bandages? Mm -hmm. There's no bandages anymore. Hmm. That's too bad, isn't it? Hmm. So much for being called a convenience store, is it? <laughs> hey, I didn't do anything. I was here looking for bandages as well. Me? Yeah. What? I can get hurt as well. What? Is only Jimmy the only person right now? <sighs> Grow up, girl. Well, my friends told me there's another store nearby. But it's just like a few blocks away and it's a very dangerous neighborhood. So, I'm willing to uh, lend you my help. I can walk you there. And, you know, we can go about our separate ways. Hey, it's not my fault. You look very vulnerable, really. And there's a lot of bad people out there. Trust me, I know. <sighs> Fine. I promise. I won't hurt you. Okay? You have my word. So will it be, Hotshot? Do you want to go? to the nearest store or you just want to leave Jimmy bleeding <laughs> you don't really got much of a choice do you no come on Such a nice walk, isn't it? 
Ah, oh, don't worry about this dangerous part of town. I own this turf. Hmm. Hell yeah. I know every single person here. So you don't have to worry about getting hurt. Unless that's what you want. <laughs> ah, I'm just kidding. Say, you know, I know you. You're that hall monitor in the school, right? Yeah, I go to the same school, but I'm a, I'm a year higher than you. Uh, let me guess. That's where you and Jimmy found each other, huh? <laughs> I don't even understand why you're messing with that guy. <laughs> I mean, look at you. You have a pretty face. A pretty body as well. <laughs> you're way out of Jimmy's league. I mean, look. Jimmy's got nothing on you. <laughs> Perhaps you could be mine instead. <laughs> Ah, I'm just kidding. Uh, you're really into Jimmy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Into delinquents. <laughs> Typical honor student bullshit. <laughs> well, I know Jimmy. Jimmy uses to hang out with me. What, don't you think the bad boy is in the bad boys club? Ugh. <laughs> of course he was. He was my right hand man. Really one of the best. It's a shame he snitched on us on a very small crime. After all the things I ever helped him with, I even changed his grades. Mm. I even made the boys change his grade from failing to passing. He's so ungrateful. Forgive me. I got a little angry there. It's really, really weird that you're hanging out with Jimmy. You should really hang out with us instead. <laughs> a girl like you at your caliber. We really need that. Plus, you're really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I can see you're blushing, girl. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna use that to my advantage at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, we're here. Yeah, we're at the park. Were you supposed to buy some bandages? I don't remember about bandages. But I do remember this park. You see that bench over there? That's where I first saw you too. <laughs> and this is what I'm about to do. I think your first kiss was with Jimmy, but it was me all along, Alex. <laughs> and speak of the devil. What? what the hell is this? You get off of her. Get off of her now. All right, Jimmy, if that's what you want. You stay the hell away from her. Goody two-shoes, are you okay? He didn't try to do anything despicable to you, did he? Okay, you're safe, and that's what's important. Oh, she's more than safe when she was with you me. You shut your mouth, you insufferable psychopath. What did you do to her, huh? Oh, what did I do? I don't know. I just stole your girl or something. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I didn't hurt her. I made her even feel good. Isn't that right? Oh, is that right? <laughs> Give me one good reason why I shouldn't beat your freaking face in right now. Mm -hmm. You say one more thing like that, we're both gonna start seeing blood. Good grief. Talk all you want, Jimmy. I already kissed her. <sighs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, uh, that's enough for me for today. I'm satisfied. Anyways, Jimmy, uh, please do take care of your girl. She's real gullible at some times. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, I lied about the bandages. <laughs> I bought all of the bandages at the store. Here, by the way, catch. Yeah, it's not much. After all the wounds that Jimmy's gonna get from all that broken heart. Oh. <laughs> See you around, dorks. Okay, so if there's one place that I don't appreciate, it's definitely the library. Uh, goody two-shoes, you have baited me into studying once again. Can't believe it. I could literally be doing anything else right now. But instead, I'm studying. <sighs> well, at least you're here. It definitely makes things a lot better. Are you sure that I can't talk you out of this? <sighs> Listen. I know that we agreed upon me being better. And that includes fixing my grades, but... You have to learn that I really don't care about my academics. Then I'll study because of you? Hmm. Uh, I really hate studying. But I do like you. Even though that you are a stupid idiot. Loser. Yes, you heard me. A stupid idiot loser. <laughs> but you're my stupid idiot loser. <laughs> oh, what? What are you going to do, Hall Monitor? Give me detention? <laughs> Wait, what? You guys can actually do that? Uh, in that case, I I'm sorry. Please, please don't give me detention. And what's so funny? What? Uh, are you messing with me? You can't actually give me detention? Oh, the nerve of you. That's so mean. I kind of like it. <laughs> Where'd you get this edge, goody two-shoes? Last time I checked, the worst thing that you've ever done was bring your cell phone inside the school. <laughs> oh, you are such a saint. All right, now, let's see here. Page 72. First question here is, what is seven times nine? Seven times nine? What is seven times nine? Uh, if so... Carry the seven, and the answer is 56. Ha! Got it, 56. Boom. Lock in that answer because I'm very sure about it. <laughs> See? I told you I'm already improving in math math. Uh huh? The answer is not 56. Then what is it? 63? Damn it! Damn it, I'm so bad. I'm so stupid. Ah, can we at least change subjects for now? I think I've had enough numbers. It's seriously about to fry my brain. Like, uh, English or something. We still haven't studied that yet. Here, let's check the book out. Uh, what do we got? See, right here. Definitions and words. Number one, matrimony. The state or ceremony of being married. Also known as marriage. See, we can totally do English. Huh? I pronounced the word wrong? Which word? Matrimony? <laughs> oh, goody two-shoes. I may be an idiot, but I know when I'm right. I'm pretty sure the word is matrimony and not matrimony. I am like 87% sure that it's matrimony. Check out your phone, you idiot. Look, it's gonna say matra money. Matrimony. Matrimony. Uh, you know what? That entire thing was stupid matrimony. anyways. You can forget about it. What? Matrimony? Matrimony? It's such a small difference. It doesn't even matter. Uh, what does matrimony even mean again? Marriage? See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I can't even learn basic English. I'm hopeless. 
Although, if we're talking about matrimonies, there is one person that I do want to marry someday. I'm talking about you, you dummy. <laughs> I don't know, you know, it's just sometimes I feel like I want to be with somebody for a long time. And when I think of people I want to be with for a long time, I think of you, Goody Two Shoes. So shut your mouth and make sure no one ever hears us being this, 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 this flirty, all right? You, 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 little bastard, you. Sh sh shut up, I'm not blushing. I think a tough guy like me would blush. <laughs> Although, I do think I know a great way to make you blush, sweetie. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna get down on one knee. <sighs> my sweetheart. My darling. My soulmate. Will you... ditch this library with me? <laughs> oh my god, I got you. You should have seen the look on your face. You were so blushing so hard. <laughs> Ow. Jeez. Did you just punch me? Oh. That actually kind of hurt. You know, you hit pretty hard for a girl. I'm just joking around. Mm. Huh? W what are you doing? Ah, why are you grabbing my face? Get off. Stop. <laughs> you just... <laughs> Well, it's nothing. It's nothing. You don't see anything. Uh, on my face, there's nothing. On my eye? It's... Uh, okay, fine. You caught me. It's a black eye. It's from the fight that I had with Alex a couple of weeks ago. Don't you remember? It's been swelling up ever since then. But don't worry. I'll survive. It's not like it's the first black eye I've gotten before. But the next time I see Alex and his stupid midnight snakes, I'm going to give those dwarfs a beating or two. They think they can mess with Jimmy and live? Well, they left me alive. That's their first mistake. The next time I see them, they're dead. Can you uh, stop holding my face now, please? Yeah. Thanks. You what? You want to do makeup? Huh. No, there is absolutely no way in hell we are doing makeup on my face. Because makeup is for girls, dude. I'm a tough guy. I'm the... I, I told you. I'm the toughest guy in school. I don't need makeup, okay? No. No makeup. End of story. Hmm. A deal? What kind of deal? If you put makeup on me, then we don't have to study anymore? God, why do you have to be so good at blackmailing me? Um, you know what, idiot, goody two-shoes, loser? Yes, I agree to your deal. Fine, put as much makeup on me as you want. But as long as you promise that we're done studying here for today. <sighs> okay, fine. How do we do this? Okay, sure, I'll just sit here then. Whoa. Huh. Do you just carry that makeup kit around with you all the time? Oh, wow, you, you really, huh? You really take a lot of self-care. Wow. Okay, I'm ready. Do what you gotta do. Uh, close my eyes. All right, but don't try any funny business, okay? Uh. Mm. Mm. You want to talk about Alex? Mm. That lunatic? He's absolutely unhinged. What about him? Mm. Yeah, he did kiss you. And that's kind of harassy, so I'm going to beat the crap out of him the next time I see him. Mm. Hey, take it easy with the brush. It's just like you rubbing my arm again. Huh? What did he tell you about me? Oh. That. Right. 
So I probably have a lot of explaining to do. Okay, so like I said before, me and Alex were kind of best friends. I was his right-hand man when I was um, part of his group, the Midnight Snakes. Him and I made an incredible team. He was smart and I was intimidating. We had power. We were the most notorious gang in the city. Together we'd do little crimes to keep ourselves alive, to keep ourselves afloat. But when the going got good, Alex, he, he did something unthinkable. <sighs> okay, you know what, let's just put it this way. He did steal $40,000 to rob a jewelry store. That, it's just crazy. He then saw the register clerk and... Uh, he was a goner. That poor guy, he was just doing his job and then he had to do it. Alex, you freaking psycho. He's sadistic and manipulative. Stay away from him at all costs. I'm pretty sure he's on the hunt for me right now. Oh. Why? I should probably tell you the last part of that story. Well, when he got rid of the, uh, jewelry store clerk, I, uh, kinda ratted them out. What does that mean? I called the police on them. At the time, I was totally okay with stealing random food or maybe money for our own self-benefit, but taking away someone's life? That's going way too far. And that's why Alex can't be trusted. He's a monster. <laughs> Are we done with the eye makeup? Okay, good. Does the black eye look invisible? Yeah? Yeah, okay. Let me check the mirror here. I... Uh, what's this? What? What is this? Did you... Did you give me eyeliner? <laughs> this was not part of the deal. I thought you were just going to cover up my eye. Well, this is ridiculous. I look so stupid. I, I look like some, some guy who's still on his emo face. You gave me eyeliner. I can't believe you. What is that? What you are holding in your hand right now is not for the eye. That is for the lips, ma'am. Don't give me lipstick. Oh my god. I... I can't believe you gave me lipstick. I look so stupid now. Alright, you had your fun with me. I... I look good? <laughs> no. I look stupid. I don't... I, I, I don't wear makeup. Right, that's not what tough guys do. I told you, I'm the toughest guy here. Hey, don't laugh at me. I said stop laughing. You're gonna cause a ruckus in this library. Uh, oh, good grief. Uh, huh. But remember our deal, goody two-shoes. We're done studying for today, correct? Haha, <laughs> alright, you know what, this makeup was worth it. And, you know what, you're not entirely wrong. I think I do look kinda good. <laughs> I mean, you look pretty good too, goody two-shoes. You're really turning my head right now. Hmm, you're such a bookworm. Could never understand why. I, I am such a tough guy. I am not scared of makeup. I'm not scared of studying either. I just find them extremely boring. Well, you, I don't understand how you're able to study. How do you go through with it? You're afraid to fail? Oh, goody two shoes. Your biggest fear is to fail your family? Hmm. <sighs> Well, I never had a family, but I'll be damned if anybody tries to get in the way of little goody two-shoes. I'm going to knock them through. 
I will make sure that you succeed in life. You don't have to worry. Okay, I've got your back. If your biggest fear is failing, then I will be your safety net. Okay? Okay, now can we please get out of here? I don't know, let's just get out of school or something. Maybe get a smoothie. Uh, afraid of Alex? Me? <laughs> Heavens no. We're safe now, okay? We've got it. Don't worry. I know how to deal with those midnight snakes. So quit your whining. Let's get out of here. Let's get a slice of pizza. Do anything I... Huh. You might want to get that, goody two-shoes. Before the librarian notices. Hm. Still breaking the school rules, huh? Who's calling you? An unknown number, huh? Well, you might want to pick it up then. It could be important or something. Yep. I'll step outside. I'll meet you there. Hey, Hotshot. I know it's kind of late and maybe you're busy. And I hope I'm ruining your day right now. <laughs> But anyways, you should come meet me at the park tomorrow midnight. I gotta deal with you. You go out with me, I'll stop hurting Jimmy. <laughs> I'll send you more details later. Alright, that's all. See ya, hotshot. Oh, if it isn't, um, what's your, what does he call you again? Um, Miss, uh, Goody Two Shoes, right? <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome. I don't know, it's fine. I was, um, I was waiting for you, but, you know, I'm a patient, patient man. And, um, oh my... You look really beautiful tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did you have to sneak out of your parents' house? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Typical, um, typical goody two shoes things. <laughs> well, well, hot shot. Um, we're here now, and I assume you got my text message. That's why you're here. Yeah, a deal's a deal. Yes, I won't bully him, I won't harass him, I won't even show up to where he lives, alright? You do what you want to do with him, I will be out of the scene. But, <laughs> you have to go on, on a date with me. Not just any date. This kind of date. I control what happens. Oh, oh, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. I won't do anything that you don't want to do. <laughs> oh, no, oh, I promise. I promise that I won't hurt you. <laughs> no, 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 no. When you're with me, you're my hot shot. Okay? Look at you. Yeah. I haven't seen you dressed like that. It's so, um, rebellious, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. I'm the one who told you to dress like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but what, what could I say? I'm a very fashionable type of guy as well. So, shall we start our date? Okay. Here, here. Take this bat with you. Oh, don't worry. No, 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 no. Think of it just like um, this date is going to be uh, very, very cathartic for you. Especially you. So uptight. All your frustrations tonight will just simply go away. <laughs> well, enough chit-chat. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling now, but let's go.
Hey, hey, hotshot. You see that car over there? Yeah, parked over the street. <laughs> hmm. Why don't you use that bat to good use, you know? Break the window for me, please. Hmm? Yeah. I'm serious. Come on. Just break some few rules tonight. I mean, you're not Miss Hall Monitor, are you? Come on. No one's looking. Don't you have any frustrations in life? I mean, you're an uptight citizen. Don't you feel that rules are tiring already? Honestly, it's always don't do this, don't do that. Don't you feel just like you want to explode? From school to your home. Come on, even your parents gives you strict rules. I mean, if you're that smart, right? Plus, doesn't Jimmy also give you rules? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did that ticked off something? Did that hit a nerve? Well then, why don't you bash that window to release that frustration of yours? <laughs> Good girl. All right, hotshot. Um, just uh, give me a moment. I'ma just start the car. But really, did that feel good? I mean, you know, the thrill of everything. Yeah, just breaking your rules and stuff. Doesn't it make you want to do more? <laughs> All right, come on, come on in. Hmm. I haven't told you where we're going, right? Well, the truth is I want to kidnap you. You know, hold you hostage so that Jimmy would, like, give up on something. Well, uh, yeah, he's a rival gang. I think he told you already. But that's not what I want to do. Like I told you, I promise that I won't do anything that you don't want me to do. So, I'ma just treat you like it's our first date. <laughs> well, when I'm not the boss of uh, the Midnight Snakes, when no one's looking for me or hunting me down or, you know, a dork that wants to fight me and see blood or something like that, I go to this secret hiding place that I have. Well, it's out of town, but it's quite near, so it will take about a few minutes to get there. Aww, you feel quite sleepy. Oh, Miss Goody Two Shoes is way past her bedtime now. <laughs> Come on. Hey, Hotshot, I got a question for you, though. How does it feel right now? You know, you sneaking out of your parents' house to meet me, not telling Jimmy what's happening to you. Honestly, you're breaking all the rules right now, your own personal rules, just so you could save Jimmy. I mean, if that's what I would assume, right? How does it feel to you? Does it feel quite bad? Or does it feel good? That, you know, you're doing this for someone. Or it just feels good to you. Because you're free right now. <laughs> I'm sorry that I got too serious. I'm just really curious right now. Well, you don't have to answer this. It's just an open-ended question anyway. Hmm? What's that? 
Out of everything, why would I ask you out on a date to save Jimmy? Hmm. You know, I told you about not snooping into my business, right? It's my own personal reasons. I mean, besides, you're pretty, right? And, um... <laughs> I mean, the way I dressed you right now. You're really hot and gorgeous. If only Jimmy could see this, right? <laughs> oh, the first things you have done, and it's for me. How cute. Oh, I just feel bad for Jimmy now. Oh, poor dork. Imagine he's going to be jealous. How mad will he get if he finds out that um, you're hanging out with me? <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy I can do things to people. <laughs> uh, I guess Jimmy's right. Maybe I am a psychopath. But who cares? I'm just enjoying what life is giving me. I'm just saying. You know, you can just let things go. Don't let things happen, you know. Make things happen. Your eyes sparked up there. I feel like I'm hitting so much stuff from you. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. But honestly, just enjoy. I'm pretty sure you're always getting dragged by Jimmy, right? <laughs> Typical. Typical bullshit from that guy. All right, we're here. Yep, it's a cliff overlooking this town. It just feels refreshing, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not just the boss of the Midnight Snake. I'm still a person, and I get tired. And you know, I think you might enjoy this. I just feel like you're just weighed down by a lot of things, Hotshot. I mean, seriously, who in their right mind would volunteer to become a hall monitor? Right? I know you're forced into it. Just as how you met Jimmy in the first place. You were forced by him, right? To hide in a locker? See? Like I said, I'm not gonna do anything that you don't want to do. Shut up. I'm not sweet. I'm being considerate. And I think people should learn from that. <laughs> The moon's really nice today. But you know what's more nice? You right now. I mean, I can totally see it in your eyes. You're tired. You're tired of following people. Just going down a single path. Because I've been there. I just want to tell you, there's other ways around life. And I know Jimmy can't do that for you. So, just a uh, quick reminder. You're always free to join me. <laughs> I know you won't. But slowly I can chip away that... Um, Inhibition of yours. <sighs> Sadly, your priorities are different right now. But 
you're still an idiot, so... I know you're willing to do anything for Jimmy. Even if I'm very close to you right now. <laughs> oh, man. Jimmy's got quite a submissive and gullible stupid girl like you. Well, since we're here now, I'm going to enjoy every moment of this, you stupid girl. Mm. <laughs> Someone's kissing back. How does it feel right now, letting your stupid inhibitions go? <laughs> oh, the look on your face right now, does it feel like shit? Oh, you're still thinking about that guy, are you? Well, you did it, honestly. I mean, we kind of completed this date, even if it was kind of short. But, you know, I got to enjoy it. <laughs> well, you're kind of free to just join me tonight. If you want to go, just tell me, honestly. I can just drive you home. But regardless, um, there's something I want to tell you. I... Uh, I uh, feel about you. I uh, don't care. <laughs> oh, come on. You think I really care about what you feel? <laughs> You're so gullible, are you? Ah, well, anyways, that was fun. <laughs> Seeing your crush face, and now it's going to be really awkward for you and Jimmy. <laughs> well, anyways, I'll be, um, yeah, let's go back to the car. I'll drive you home. Don't worry. Like I told you, right? I'm not going to do things that you don't want to do. <laughs> uh, you look so confused right now and I love it well anyways we should really get going don't worry I'm not gonna hurt Jimmy anymore I promise <laughs> uh, this detention thing Sucks. Should have blown it when I had the chance. Could have totally ran away there. Eh, whatever. Huh? Oh, goody two shoes. Hey, what are you doing here? To check up on me? Well, that's very nice of you, goody two shoes. Uh, it's not like I needed it, though. I, I can take care of myself. You know, I'm a tough guy. Remember, I could survive a beating or two. What am I in for? Well, when you say it like that, it kind of sounds like I'm in prison. But if you must know, uh, I got caught by Director Richards. I tried to uh, skip class and he was on my ass. Honestly, he's such a pain. No, no, I'm not neglecting anything you've told me whatsoever. I, I know you want me to do really good in my grades, but I just can't stand algebra. It bores me to death. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I knew you'd be mad. That's why I got you a little present. Mm, surprise. I'll just get it for you real quick. Uh, here. It's a necklace with a little lock on it. And over here... I have the key. 
See, I'm going to be wearing this key necklace and you're going to be wearing that lock necklace because I have the key to your heart. <laughs> it's also kind of a reminder of the first time we met, remember? We hid inside of a locker, so, you know, it's a locker, lock and key. It's kind of like the time we spent inside the lock. You, you get it. You get what I mean. It's a reminder of the first time we met. Hmm. Do you like it? You love it. Well, it is pretty easy to please a pretty idiot like you. <laughs> Ow! Did, did you just punch me? Jeez, I'm just joking. I'm joking. Oh, man. You're getting better at punching things, goody two-shoes. I guess I better watch my back next time. Maybe you'll be protecting me. You're going to stay with me? You idiot. Why would you even do that? To watch over me? What are you, like a parent? Like are you my mommy or something? No, I didn't mean it like that. I love it when you're around me. I'm pretty happy, actually, when you're around me. I just don't want you getting caught up in my troubles. Y you dummy. Well, okay. If you're gonna stay, I can't promise you that I won't tease you. Because there are a lot of things I can tease you about, Goody Two Shoes. One of them is how short you are. <laughs> yeah, I said it. You're vertically challenged. The height difference between you and me is quite visible. You're like all the way down there, and I'm like all the way up here. <laughs> huh? What? What's that? I'm sorry, I can't hear you from all the way down there. Are you trying to say something, short person? <laughs> Maybe you should try to speak up. Yeah, yeah, speak up. Stand up for yourself. Uh, oh, wait. You're already standing? I could have sworn you were sitting down. I couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> uh, uh, good one, Jimmy. Good one. I should seriously start writing these down. Huh? Oh, yeah? Well, what are you going to do about it, goody two-shoes? Grab my ankles? <laughs> uh, I'm just joking. Lighten up, lighten up. I'm just joking again. You're adorable. Your height is super cute. It adds to your appeal, goody two-shoes. It should be against the rules for somebody as hot as you to be so cute. And I'm really not just saying that now. I mean it. You're sexy, intelligent, cute, and most importantly, short in height. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. Never again. Never again. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Jimmy will try to be a good boy now. <sighs> but, uh, goody two-shoes, I still have a question. Oh, how do I put this? So, when you people play miniature golf... Do you just call it golf? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Ow. Jeez, did you just punch my face? Ah. Uh, well, not gonna lie, I do deserve that. I didn't stop after the first punch. So, yeah, it would only make sense for you to punch me again. <sighs> Smart thinking. That second punch was stronger than the first. You're getting really strong. Maybe you can punch Alex after you see that maniac. Hmm? You want to tell me something about him? Uh, go ahead, you can tell me anything. Did he hurt you? Because I'm going to beat him up. No one hurts Goody Two-Shoes and gets away with it. Hmm? Then what did he do? You're afraid I'm going to get mad if you told me? Well, try me, sweetie. I don't think it's ever possible for me to get mad at you. 
And trust me, if I know Alex, I know it's just him pulling the strings manipulating you. I want to protect you. So, have faith. What is it you wanted to tell me? Mm-hmm. Uh, Alex stole your first kiss? He, he did it forcefully? That bastard. Next time I see him, I'm gonna kill him, I swear. Uh, hey, hey, it's okay. Goody Tushies, it's okay. I'm not angry. At least I'm not angry at you. Because uh, I know what Alex can do. I know how much he can take away from people. It's okay. Do you feel like crying right now? You cry, baby. Come here, give me a hug, will you? Mm. There, there, goody tissues. It's gonna be okay. It's over now. He's not here. He can't hurt you. And, you know, I really don't mind because it doesn't matter who your first kiss was. All that matters is who your last is gonna be. And, goody two-shoes, I kinda wanna be that last kiss for you. You mean a lot to me. You've probably gone through a lot of hardship and trouble just because of me. And for some strange reason, you're still sticking around. Hmm. What even are we, goody two-shoes? Are we friends that just flirt with each other all the time? Or are we something more? Because I want to be the latter goody two-shoes. I want to be your boyfriend. <laughs> goody two-shoes, what are you doing? That's my lap. You're, you're sitting on my lap. I uh, never expected this off of you, goody two-shoes. Not that it's an unwelcomed action. Huh? D do I love you? Uh, good, goody two shoes. I, I, I do. I, I do love you. I love everything about you. I love the way we make fun of each other. I love the way I get to tease you. I love the way that you talk to me. It makes me feel not alone in the world. Goody Tushes, you're take it easy on my lap there. You're kind of making me. <laughs> uh, goody Tushes, I never thought that we would. Uh, I love you. You know, what if somebody came into the room? We would have gotten caught, you know? You've seriously become a little bit more rebellious once you've hung out with me. <laughs> That's my girl. You know, now that you're on my lap like this, it's kind of easy to kiss you. I don't really have to look down since you're so short. You don't have to post that video of my TikTok, sweetie. I, I, I love you. you. You would do nothing to try to embarrass me, right? I mean, I just made one joke about your height. You don't have to post that video, right, honey? Sweetie? Darling? Uh, 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 honey bunch cakes? I, I look, I'm trying all of the nicknames in the book here. I'm, I'm just very sorry. Well, why don't you shut me up with that mouth of yours? That's the bell. I guess the tension's over for me. <laughs> I never thought I'd spend my detention making out with the hall monitor, but here I am. 
<sighs> Are you going to be busy with anything, Goody Two Shoes? Uh, dance practice? Oh, you and your stupid TikToks. Well, I've got to go meet with a friend. I'm just glad the detention's finally over. See, I didn't skip this detention this time. I'm a good student. Uh, okay, you've got a point. A good student would definitely not get detention in the first place. But I'm no regular student. I'm Jimmy Santos. <laughs> oh, uh, before we go, let me just put this necklace around you. Mm. Uh, right there. And... Ah, uh, there we go. It looks really good on you, goody two-shoes. <laughs> Alright, can I get one more kiss for good luck? Mm. 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 I guess this officially means that we're a thing now, right? You're my girlfriend and I'm your boyfriend? <laughs> okay. I, I love you too. N now get out of here. You're seriously starting to distract me with you being on my lap. I'll see you around, goody two shoes. Hey there, Hotshot. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop hiding your face behind your hands. <laughs> come on, Hotshot. Don't be so shy now. We've been through so much by now. Why are you still so, so timid in front of me? It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> what do you mean? I just got out of the shower. What? Can't a guy get a shower after a long day of physical education? <laughs> just when I thought you were the smartest one in the room. <laughs> you can be so, so stupid sometimes, goody two-shoes. <laughs> What are you so frantic about? I'm not the pervert here. You are. <laughs> Did you suddenly turn blind, Hotshot? Look around you. You're in the wrong room, Hotshot. This is the boys' locker room. <laughs> Yes, it is, actually. Look. Have you seen any girl that got into here before you? Oh, was it all empty? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't took you as an idiot. <laughs> well, since you're so frantic and hysterical, um, Miss Hall Monitor, why don't I just tell the teacher that you sneaked into this locker room anyway? <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, Hotshot. We're in this together now. Oh, now I have to protect your reputation, isn't it, Hotshot? <laughs> uh, anyways, you should continue changing, honestly. I mean, clearly, you're not done yet. But, can I just comment, actually? You're really gorgeous. <laughs> Listen, remember that time, our first date, I made you wear those clothes? Well, I have mistaken, honestly. There's a lot more from your features than I thought. <laughs> sure, sure, I'm the one who's looking down. I mean... I'm just only wearing a towel right now, hotshot. And yet your eyes are going all over the place. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm just joking. Jeez. Calm down. If you keep screaming, they will hear you. I wouldn't want Miss uh, Miss Honor Student here getting in trouble, right? I mean, who's the bad guy here, right? I'm just here enjoying a shower and then I found out a girl entered a boy's locker room. I mean, I could just tell the principal that, um, that you just came in here and like, I don't know, sneaked in so you can check the boys out. <laughs> I mean, they would believe me. I mean, they have to. <laughs> Didn't you hear? My parents kind of own this school. They're the top donators here. So anything I say will happen. So kind of don't want me on the bad side. <laughs> Ah, uh, hot shot. I'm just kidding. I'm just joshing you around. You look so confused and shy right now, and it's honestly giving me a kick. <laughs> but honestly, hot shot, you really need to change clothes. It's kind of revealing a lot of things. Why shouldn't I also change clothes? Why would I do it in front of you? And also, you're in front of my locker. So, can you move aside, please? Jeez. Do you hear that? Someone's coming. Oh, hotshot, you need to get out of here. What do, you, what, what do we do? <laughs> oh, I know. Why don't you come on in? Don't worry. I'll protect you. Not gonna lie, right? This locker room is very spacey for a school. Well, that's what you get when you're the top donator's son, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I uninvited in my own locker? I can absolutely do what I want to do, idiot. <laughs> Why do you want to get out now? Well, there's a lot of people going into the locker. <laughs> Plus, you know, it's not really alien that we're this close again, isn't it? <laughs> oh, but don't worry, Hotshot. I won't do anything that you don't want me to do. Remember that? <laughs> Why are you so angry right now? I'm trying to protect you. Could you please lower your voice down? You might get heard. And you're going to be in trouble. Could you imagine? You're an honor student, right? What would your parents think about all of this? You sneaking into the locker? Trying to get a glimpse of me? Oh, are you trying to take a glimpse on Jimmy? How dare you, hotshot? I thought you're Miss Little Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> yeah, stay quiet like that. Be a good girl for me. Is that Jimmy? Oh shit! Here, try to get closer to me so you can see it. The street that cutter crew are actually gonna chill at the diner on Saturday. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why don't you come over with us, Jimmy? My treat. The boys would be glad to see ya. Can't. Got a thing with this girl I'm meeting. Girl, huh? Is this that goody two-shoes person you've been hanging out with? <laughs> hey, watch it. No one gets to call her that but me. All right, all right. Calm down, Mr. Possessive. Oh, it's he's not talking like I had about interest you. In her. Hopefully she doesn't end up like one of those bimbos you had uh, before. Don't you call her that. I didn't call her anything. I called your exes bimbos. You know what, Chris? You're starting to piss me off. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Chill out, tough guy. <sighs> sorry, this one's just different, man. I actually like this girl. When she smiles, I can't help but to smile back. She makes this world a little less scary for me, you know? You're getting pretty soft there, Jimmy. <laughs> Believe me, Chris, I could still beat the ever-living crap out of you if I wanted to. 
It's just that this girl, she isn't someone I just pick up in a bar. She's more than that. She's somebody I would marry. Oh, someone's in love. Aw, look at you all in love. <laughs> Who are you kidding? You're still an ace degenerate. No, ex degenerate man. 8 a.m. tomorrow, I'm a senior, and I've got one year to make it all work. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Make it all work. All of it. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, man. Right. So, how's the Alex situation going? Uh, Alex, he's been harassing her for a while now. I'm sick and tired of not being there every time that bastard manipulates her. Jimmy, you know it's not your fault. Sure, it might not be, but how long will I let that lunatic get out for free? He thinks he can get away from me, the same way he got away from the cops years ago? <laughs> I'm going to catch up to him, and I'm going to find him. Because, you know, I love Goody Two-Shoes. I love her so much. And even though I do love her, what I really love more than anything is to kill Alex. Wow, Jimmy's really <laughs> angry at us. <laughs> if only he could hear me right now. I'm going to wipe his pretty annoying smirk off his face. I'm gonna make sure that his annoying red blood will start dripping off of it instead. Cause he can't get away with all of these evil things that he's done. Manipulating my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Stealing her kisses. Using her. Making her feel unsafe. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him when I see him. He's going down in flames. <laughs> in front of everyone. And when the smoke clears, there will be no doubt that he was anything but a spineless, pathetic, little bitch. Wow. I'll help you if you need anything. Oh, and one more thing. Take it easy on those lockers. We're gonna get in trouble if you keep hitting them that hard. <laughs> he better be careful. That guy can make anything he says seem real. Well, someone ought to shut him the hell up. All right, Jimmy. We better get to class. We might be late again. I do not want to see Director Richards. Do you? No. Yeah. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Did you hear all of that, Hotshot? He was so angry at us. <laughs> well, you're right. He's angry at me. But... Do you really think he's just going to be angry at me once he knows about all of this? I mean, you didn't tell him yet, right? About our first date. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine the temper he will have once he finds out? And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one he's going to kill. <laughs> I'm not scaring you. I'm just telling the truth. If I were you, I would definitely find another guy who has uh, less um, anger issues inside of him. But your face paints a thousand words, so... You do what you do, Hotshot, but, um, you kind of need your clothes back, honestly. Don't worry, I didn't see anything, I promise. Plus, I need to get back to the shower. After everything what happened, I do need another one. After all, it was really hot inside my locker. Well, you were in it, so... <laughs> I love it when you blush like that. But anyways, if you don't want to get in trouble, you really need to get going. Plus, I don't want to ruin your reputation. Unlike, um, 
some delinquent. <laughs> oh, and uh, before you go, don't worry about this. It's going to be our dirty little secret now. <laughs> All right, darling. Oh, sorry. Um, Miss Goody Two Shoes. I'll see you soon. All right, calm down, calm down. Settle down, Goody Two Shoes. I think you've had one too many cotton candy. You're starting to get a sugar rush. <laughs> See, this is why you're an idiot, Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> N no, I'm not an idiot. You are. Look, I, I, I know I needed help for, for that math. Look, that was a one time thing. I couldn't answer one multiplication answer, so what? Seven times eight? Uh, uh, it's 59, right? It's 59? No. 56. Uh, Alright, fine. I concede. You're the smart one. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't do math for the life of me. B but still, calm down, Goody Two Shoes. I know that the whole fair is fun and all, but I have a few things to show you. <laughs> well, you could say that it's part of our date. This fun fair is just the part one of our pretty, um, adventurous night tonight. Uh, yeah, I'll just show you what I mean. Follow me. Mm. It's this way. And watch your step, you s slow ass, clumsy, goody two shoes, you. I gotta say, goody two shoes, you're really prettied up for tonight. I can't get my eyes off of you. And I'm not just saying that because I'm your boyfriend now. I mean it. And that necklace looks really nice on you. You've really been wearing that every day since I gave it to you in detention last week. I appreciate the gesture. It's like our couple, our couple necklace or whatever. Ugh, couple necklaces. Never thought I'd be wearing one of those. <laughs> I always thought those were for, like, squares or something like that. <laughs> but a man can change, can he? And hey, you never know. The next piece of jewelry I might be giving you is a ring. <laughs> oh, your face. <laughs> oh, you're blushing red. I can never get tired of doing that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goody two-shoes, you're so gullible. Uh, well, I only tease you because I like you a lot. <laughs> goody two-shoes. Uh, here we are. Check it out. It's my ride. <laughs> yep, that pickup truck right there, that is my ride. What do you think? Looks pretty radical, doesn't it? <laughs> Where did I get it? Oh, don't even worry about that. I got it from my crew, the street cutters, remember? I'm their leader. So we kind of have a shared source of resources. That's as much as I can tell you. I, I didn't steal it, though, if that's what you were thinking. <laughs> oh, where are we going? Uh, just head inside. You'll find out. Here, let me get the door for you. There. And let me just... <sighs> okay. Buckle up, goody two-shoes. I'll try to drive as smooth as possible. <laughs> there we go. Come on, baby. Alright. <laughs> Listen to that engine purr. Okay, so, let's go. Ha 
<laughs> ah, nothing gets me more relaxed than just driving on the old open road. Huh? G goody two shoes, are you? Are you scared? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Don't worry about it, goody two shoes. I've driven this car multiple times before. <laughs> I've also passed the driver's test. I have a driver's license, you know. Y yes, I do. I'm not lying to you. See? It's right here. I got it. I may be a delinquent, but, uh... I'm no pushover. I know how to drive a car. <laughs> Honestly, Goody Two Shoes, you are such a scaredy cat. Like earlier, when we were on top of the Ferris wheel, <laughs> you were terrified. You just had your eyes covered the entire time. <laughs> I tried to make like a romantic moment, but you were like, "Oh no, no, Jim, I can't look down. I'm so scared. I can't." <laughs> uh, it's funny. What? It's funny. Come on. Lighten up a bit. Honestly, it's just so cute. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. No punching. No punching tonight. Okay, not in the car. We could crash. That's dangerous. No punching in the car, okay? I'm just making fun of you. It's because I love you, silly. Yes, I mean that. I wanted to, uh kiss you on top of that ferris wheel but uh you just couldn't do it huh well what kind of a question is that is kissing allowed in the car huh well if i'm driving and then you just so happen to kiss me on the cheek i guess there's nothing i could do about it could i <laughs> you you actually did it uh, uh, that's nice. N n no, no, I'm not blushing. I'm not like a weirdo like you, Goody Two Shoes, okay? I'm not blushing. Not especially while driving. Hmm. Shut up. I'm, I'm not cute. Shut up. Uh. <laughs> uh. Tonight has been really fun. But we're not done yet. We finally arrived. <sighs> so, where exactly are we? Where has Jimmy Santos taken you today? Well, um... This is the base of the Midnight Snakes. You know, Alex's group, his gang, this is their hideout. Uh, how do I know? Uh, well, you know, I used to be in the Midnight Snakes. I used to be in Alex's gang. I used to be his best friend and everything. That was until the incident. Hmm. I should probably tell you what we're doing here. So, um, the incident that happened, uh, goody two-shoes, we stole from a bank, and the money that he stole was exactly $40,000. Yeah, I know that's a huge amount. <laughs> Not enough for a human life, but he got away with all that money. And, well, I kind of planned that we should steal it back. N don't get mad. Don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. I, I chose you for a reason. You're the only person I could trust. And Alex has been terrorizing us for the past few weeks. This would be the perfect way to get back at him. We should steal back the $40,000 that he stole. We'll be like Robin Hood. Take from the rich, give to the poor. Only instead of taking from the rich, we're taking from Alex's gang. And instead of the poor, we'll be giving it back to... Well... The, the family... Of the person that... You know, Alex killed off. And... And I don't have anyone else to do this with. Please. My only hope. 
Will you do this with me? Will you steal 40,000 from the Midnight Snakes with me? It's not exactly a marriage proposal, but just think of everything that Alex has done to you. He stole your first kiss. He harassed you. He violated you. Come on. Please. This plan will work. Trust me. Thank you. I love you. Mm. All right. Let's Bonnie and Clyde this shit. Just follow my lead. We'll be okay. Come on. So the plan is we're going to enter in through the back. There doesn't seem to be any cars around. That means that there's nobody home. I wonder where he keeps that safe, though. Oh, the door. Definitely going to have to lock pick it. So if I just... Oh. It's actually open. Good job, Goody Two Shoes. I didn't actually think they'd just leave the door unlocked. Alright. Shush. You hear that? Apparently, I was wrong. There is still a guy that's hanging around here. Oh, man. Crap, I didn't actually account for this. Okay. Check this out. I'm gonna take him out. If I could get a drink out with you, I would. What I could do for you. Who the hell are you? Oh, shit. Uh, I'm just the pizza delivery guy. I didn't order no pizza. Oh, you, you, you're an intruder. You, you're that Jimmy guy. You just, the, the, the boss keeps talking about you. Oh, <laughs> oh, you better be ready for a fighting of a lifetime, buddy. Look, man, I don't want any trouble. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, I'm as tough as nails. They ain't no come. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. G goody two shoes, you just knocked him out. <laughs> That's extremely impressive. Th that guy is like four times our size. Wow. You're you're awesome. Goody two shoes. I guess that's why uh, I chose you for this mission, I suppose. <laughs> High five. Uh <laughs> ah, you're too small, you can't reach for my hand. Come on, high five, high five. Try it. Go on. Uh <laughs> Missed the second time. I oh, okay. Whoa, okay. Don't 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 punch me. Please don't 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 punch me. I saw what you did to that guy. Don't don't even think about it. Look, I'm gonna lower my hand. There, you can high five me now. All right, goody two shoes. Now let's get back to business. Where is that forty thousand? I know they don't keep it here. This is like a lunchroom. Uh Oh, I remember. Through that door is Alex's room. I'm pretty certain that's where he keeps his money. Let's just hope the door is open. <sighs> All right. He left it unlocked. Goody two-shoes. We actually just might pull this off. Come on. <sighs> where could it possibly be? Inside there? It's a locker. Hey, good thinking. If he wanted to keep money, he'd keep it in a place with a lock in it. Uh, it seems to be a number code. Huh. Could it could it be? Hang on, let me let me try. Let me try something. Yeah. Okay, two. Oh my gosh, it opened. I can't believe that's his password. It's a code between the Midnight Snakes. It's 2481. At least, that's what it was when I was still part of the Midnight Snakes. Apparently, Alex never changed his. Honestly, I'm surprised with him. I didn't think he'd keep the same number. Uh, is this it? This is pretty heavy. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Oh, 
goody two shoes. We're rich. You know what we can buy with this kind of right? No, we're gonna give it back to the family that Alex killed. Oh my gosh. It's still it's it's kinda it's kinda exhilarating to have this much kind of money these days. <sighs> okay. I guess that's it. We can get out of here. Mission accomplished. We uh oh shit, the door opened. Someone's coming. Uh quick. We gotta hide. Uh here, come here. <sighs> <sighs> Well, this feels familiar. It's kind of like we've done this before. <laughs> oh, sh- he's coming. Oh, man. I can't see his face. I'm not sure who that guy is. He's not talking either. <sighs> but based on the sounds, he's just walking around. <sighs> Man, we're so close. Come on, get out of here. We're so close. I, I'm not talking about us, by the way. I'm not talking about us. I know we are physically close, but I mean we are so close to getting this money and getting out of here. That's what I mean. Uh, wait. Uh, he, he, he left. He closed the door. I think we can get out now. <sighs> yep, seems like the coast is clear. Come on out. <laughs> I can't believe it. We got the $40,000 right here. <laughs> I wish I could get to see the look on Alex's face. Ask and <sighs> you shall receive. Uh, Alex, y- you're here? Of course I am. Hello, Jimmy. And, uh, hello there, hotshot. But, but how? How did you find us? I didn't. I simply got lucky. Your stupidity has cost you yet again, Jimmy. (laughs) Oh, what do you have over there, hotshot? Oh, isn't that my money you're holding? My goodness, you've become a criminal. That's what you get for hanging around that, uh, delinquent. You talk a lot of shit for somebody in punching range. And you have a lot of balls to steal from the midnight snakes. Have you have any idea how stupid you are? You really think you could steal from me? You stole that cash. You even took a life for it. It's blood money. You're so self-righteous, Jimmy. It was an accident. I didn't kill anyone. That's what I'm trying to tell you, but you had to rat us out like a damn coward, didn't you, Jimmy? (laughs) But that doesn't matter. Because I now have control over the one you love so much. Isn't that right, hotshot? You don't know what you're talking about. She'll never listen to you. Oh, but she has so many times already. That girl you're with is basically the Bonnie to my class. I'm gonna kill you, Alex. Oh, Jimmy, don't be so idiotic. I'll take that girl away from you the same way you took our friendship away. I'm gonna kill you. You're all talk. I see you got such sweet necklaces. I'm going to take that from you as well. Like I took her first kiss... And I'll most definitely take her first time in bed, too. I'll kill you! Ah! <laughs> Goody. Oh I got him, boss. Well done, Bruce. I can always count on you. Quick hit to the head was all it took to knock that idiotic Jimmy out. <laughs> <sighs> oh, um, right, all that remains now is, um, you, Miss Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> yeah, 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 Bruce, take him away. I really don't need him. 
Oh, my only advice just now is that you can close your eyes and pretend it's not happening, because um, it might hurt, so... I'm really sorry, Hotshot. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Oh, don't worry. I'll I'll take it from here, guys. Yeah. You've done enough. Yeah, take the day off, actually. Don't don't worry. <laughs> I'll take uh Miss Goody Two Shoes from here. Don't worry. All right, close the door on the way out, will you? <sighs> well, Miss Goody Two Shoes, we're here. We both know what you did. So there's no point in denying it or me interrogating of what you've done. Really? $40,000? And you think I wouldn't notice. <sighs> Jimmy is just an idiot. Just... <laughs> you know, at first, I really thought you were, um, collateral damage. But now you're... You're an accomplice now. And I don't take that lightly. Oh, darling. Oh, hot shot. Why? Oh, right. Sorry. Let me just remove the blindfolds. <laughs> Hi. Well, honestly, I'm not mad at you. I'm really just more mad at Jimmy for doing this to me. But you? I'm proud of you. Honestly, I just put you in all of these, um, uh, restraints. Just so I could aggravate Jimmy more. I think I have sent him a picture like uh, 30 minutes ago. Well, he hasn't seen it. But I'm sure he'll find out. After all, you're going to be missing. So I think he'll be here. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, Hotshot. I'm just so in the zone right now. Here, let me take off that gag for you. All right, now you can talk properly. Oh, don't worry. Breathe as much as you want. We're going to be here all day anyway. So might as well get comfy in that chair. <sighs> no, I'm sorry, darling. I'm not going to let go of you just yet. <laughs> well, I do kind of need you, and... um. Sorry for, like, um, leaving so much markings on your body. It's part of the presentation, honestly. You know, for Jimmy to fall into my trap, so... Yeah, terribly sorry, but if you want me to bathe you, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, isn't that our next step? We were trapped in the locker, so... Might as well take it to a whole new level, right? <laughs> ah, your face. Ah, those expressions. It's really priceless, Hotshot. Okay. But here's the thing. I really want to ask you. Where did you put the money? Oh. All right. Jimmy took all of it. How dare he. Not giving you any cut at all. Well, I guess Jimmy's really stupid. I'm pretty sure he's not even going to use that money. He's probably just going to dig up some dirt and hide it like a dog he is. <laughs> Honestly, why do you even go out with that guy? Where you could have been hanging out with me. 
getting rich, being free. Honestly, where you're going, you're halfway already there. Oh, look at you. I thought you're an honor student. I thought you're Miss Goody Two Shoes, the hall monitor, the model student, and yet you're here. You're not a good girl anymore, are you? You're a bad girl. You've been really, really bad. <laughs> Well, aren't you such a naughty butterfly, huh? Uh, I guess I have to pat myself in the back for uh, helping you out. <laughs> uh, uh, the look on your face, it's like you're realizing a lot right now. And I can't blame you. I'm just really jealous right now because Jimmy just gave you that first time and I don't. <laughs> well, I have to give him some credit though because I have uh, taken a lot of first times from him. Hmm? <laughs> well, to more adventures to us after this. You know, aren't you a bit scared, goody two-shoes, that you're breaking a lot of laws? Because I can just turn you in. If I really hated you, I would have just let the police involve. Plus, you don't have any evidence that I did something bad. But I have $40,000 missing. And uh, we can find that money. I know Jimmy. So I think I know where he hid it. <laughs> but of course, that's not what I want to do. Because you know why. That's right, Hotshot. Because you're the one who did it, right? <laughs> Ah, oh, I just, I just love you so much right now. Because you're doing the things that I have taught you. And I'm proud of you. You naughty, naughty, naughty girl. Well, since I'm not going to do anything bad about you. And remember, I don't want to do things that you don't want me to do. How about just a little bit in exchange, hmm? Well, since you stole $40,000 from me, I should take something from you. You decide what you want to give to me. Because like I said, I won't do anything unless you want to do it. I'm not the person that would force you to follow me. Break all the rules you want. That's what I want you to do. I see great potential in you. And that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> well, not really. I just want to see Jimmy suffer after all the things he did to me. And honestly, you're just collateral damage. But I've grown interest in you. There's something about you, honestly. Oh. Oh, look at that. Jimmy replied. <laughs> He's so angry. <laughs> oh, man. He even made a lot of typos. Look at that. All caps lock and yet, and yet so much misspellings. Jeez, Jimmy. Learn to proofread first before you angry send at me. Well, I'm just gonna leave it on scene. 
just so he could imagine all the horrible things I'm doing to you. Oh no, Miss Goody Two Shoes. Oh. Unless, of course, you want to do it. <laughs> well, I'm not. I won't do that. Well, unless. <sighs> well, here we are again. Jimmy finally saves the day, blah, blah, blah. And Miss Goody Two Shoes is gonna fall in love again to um, that dork. Well, I'm not even gonna fight. I'm just gonna let him save you. But since you did something bad to me, just so you know, if you get caught, there is bound to be consequences to this, okay? Just remember that while you uh, sleep or uh, while you're hugging Jimmy or something. <laughs> well, Hotshot, this is not the end of it. And don't worry, you're gonna feel my wrath. <laughs> All right, goody tissues. I'll see you in school. Okay. Oh, and uh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. Don't even bother calling the cops on us. No one would ever believe you that I did this. <laughs> oh, especially if Jimmy, oh, the boy who cried wolf. <sighs> you just can't get out of this, do you? <laughs> Hey, hey, over here, hey you idiot, I'm not a ghost, I'm right here, to your right, yeah, it's me, oh man, what did they do to you, they just left you tied up and gagged there, <clears throat> that pisses me off, <clears throat> I, I look a little beat up, but I'm fine. We're gonna break out of here. <sighs> Hold on. I'm gonna do something really stupid. Hopefully nobody hears this coming. Uh. 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 Oh, fuck. That really hurt. Uh, are you okay, Goody Two Shoes? Mm. Uh, it's fine. I'll be fine. Like I said before, pain is temporary. <laughs> All right. Let me untie you. I really got this thing on a knot. Okay, uh. I think you're good. Oh, goody two shoes. Did they hurt you? Did Alex do anything despicable? Uh, that asshole! I'd honestly fight him, but considering we're in Midnight Snake's territory, chances are he's got backup. We're outnumbered here. <laughs> oh, my neck. Huh? Me? I'm, I'm fine. My cuts and bruises are just from fighting that big guy. When I came to, I was tied upside down. He had a giant bat. He was gonna beat me up like a piñata. Talk about old-fashioned gangster shit. Long story short, I got free and fought for my life. <laughs> got bloodied and lucky. Trust me, I could have ended up in a pretty bad way. But enough about that crap. We gotta get out of here. Hmm. I came from over there, so... The only exit has to be... There. This door right here. Ah, uh, uh, damn. They locked our only exit. Of course. Uh, it's a number code. Um, 
Ugh, what could it be? How could I possibly know? Uh, huh? G goody two-shoes, what are you doing? Y you're unlocking it. D do you even know the code? Uh... Whoa. Whoa, you did it. You did it. Nice. W what you put? 2481. Oh, <laughs> right. I used that before to unlock the locker, didn't I? Oh, you still remember that? <laughs> Quick thinking. See, this is why I love you. Yeah. <sighs> uh. All right, the coast is clear. Get in. If I remember correctly, this is like a storage room. Who knows what the snakes have stocked in here? Oh! <laughs> ah, is this a pistol? Oh, hell yeah, we can totally use this. Ah, uh, goody two-shoes, don't worry. It'll be only for self-defense. Besides, we're in the middle of a gang's hideout. It'd be stupid not to come prepared. And I'd do anything to protect your cute little ass. Hmm? Of course I've fired a gun before. I... No, I didn't kill anyone, you idiot. I used it for target practice. And maybe a few robberies, but... I never shot anyone. Unlike that psycho Alex. Hmm. You know what? Look at all those crates. I bet we can find some better guns in there. God, you're such a buzzkill. You really are goody two-shoes for a reason. I'll be fine. I can handle my own firearms. I just want to be prepared for the worst. Who knows how many backup Alex has. I... Get down, get down! No oh, shoot. Someone's in here. Shit. Quick, hide. In there. In the crate. Get in. Hurry. Uh, there's not enough space for the two of us. I don't fit. It's okay. It's okay, I'll just hide elsewhere. Stay here until I come back, okay? Don't worry. Hey there, hotshot. Looks like you got yourself boxed up. <laughs> I've noticed that you and Jimmy tried to escape. I fired a shot just to see if anyone was here, and your cute little crate seemed to jump right on keel. Guess you're a bit too sensitive there. Now, why don't you be a good girl and go back to that little room I had <laughs> You get your filthy hands off of her. <laughs> you don't want this noise, Jimmy. You don't want this noise. Yeah? Well, as a matter of fact, they have it on full volume. What? What is that even? <sighs> you know what? It doesn't matter. You're such a fool, Jimmy. This is just between you and me. There's no reason for her to get involved. Oh, but you're the one who got her involved in the first place, Jimmy. I saw you. I saw how happy you two were. All oh, lovey-dovey. You were so happy. And we can't have that. Not after what you did to me. What I did to you? Uh, you I, I called the cops on you for murder. It's called justice. <laughs> it's called betrayal. 
You have no idea what they do to you in juvie. I'm sure you got what you deserved. You talk a lot of shit for someone in my territory. I'm certain that hotshot over there didn't even come here because of you. I'm certain she's here to see me. <clears throat> Aren't you, hotshot? <clears throat> I can shoot you right where you stand. So I better suggest you watch your mouth, you sociopath. Oh, dear. Do we really have to resort to such lengths, Jimmy? I'm not afraid to use this thing. Is that a fret? Honestly, using a firearm to try and defeat me? How pathetic. The same firearm that we used during the incident, no less. You have a death wish or something. It's like you're begging me to shoot you. Oh, that's hilarious. I know very well that you don't have the guts to do it. You want to gamble? If you were a real man, you would fight me with your fist. And if I do that, you're going to pull a fast one on me. Yeah, right. Like I'd ever believe your sorry ass. I may be stupid, but I'm not that stupid. If you pull that trigger, then you would be committing the same mistake I did years ago. You think I wanted to kill that poor woman? You think I have no guilt? It haunts me every single day. Oh, save the sob story. Won't you actually use your brain for one second, you idiot? Were you even fucking listening? Come fight me! Wouldn't it be satisfying to break my teeth with your own fist? A hothead like you could really benefit from beating me up. Especially since I took hot shots first time. You, you what? B bullshit! G goody two shoes is. Is that true? <laughs> I believe you. Of course she would. <sighs> She'll hide anything from you just to keep you from being angry. Besides, you're not brave enough to fight me. <laughs> uh... You're my right hand man, Jimmy. But now look at how low you've become. You're afraid of fighting me man to man. I would destroy you. Uh, shut up! You know it, don't you? You'll never be enough for your precious goody two-shoes. Be a man. Toss that gun away, and I'll make sure you join your parents in hell. Uh, you want to fight so bad? <laughs> I don't even fucking need this thing. <clears throat> Come on, let's do it. Let's do it right now. Huh? <laughs> What's so funny? You're such a fool, Jimmy. You actually fell for something like that. See, I know I could outsmart you. You actually believed all that. <laughs> See? See, unlike you, I actually have murderous intentions. I thought Bruce might have gotten the job done and killed you, but apparently he's unreliable. And don't you think about moving either, Hotshot. I see you trying to sneak around. You move another inch and both of you bite the dust. <laughs> well, Jimmy, I guess this is the end of the line. Alex, you snake. I knew you'd play dirty. <laughs> dirty? More like playing smart. Any last words, Jimmy? Eat my shorts. What? Eat my shorts. <laughs> so juvenile we have a saying back where I'm from at home we say svidanya. goodbye Jimmy don't do it don't fire that <laughs> uh, uh, huh what the there are no wounds on me. Uh, I'm okay. G G Goody two shoes. Oh my god. Oh my god. You you pushed me. Y you saved me. I, I can't believe you do that for me. Y you've you've been shot. Oh my god. You've you've shot her. I, I, you I, motherfucker. You've shot her. I, I, what? No. No. I, no. No, it, it was an accident. I didn't want Stay to. with me, Goody Two Shoes. Oh God, please she keep your eyes me. open. Look, Look at me. Look, Look at me. I love you. Please. I shouldn't have gotten you involved. I'm so sorry. Please don't die on me. God. 
Please don't die on me! start but um, but I guess things didn't go as I wanted and I guess you got caught up in um, something I thought you wouldn't be involved but here we are <sighs> but um, <clears throat> but before that I can um, can I ask you, how are you? It's been a while since I've seen you, and um, you were gone for uh, quite a while. It's weird, isn't it? The person that got you out of being in a cage is asking you this. Ironic that you're back to square one. Maybe even worse now that you're in this state. <sighs> Shit. Was it was it worth it, darling? Was it worth it to ditch all of this? I pr I presented you something far greater than what you ever wanted, and you chose this. <sighs> I'm disappointed at you. You could have been so much, Hotshot. You were never Goody Two Shoes. You were never just Goody Two Shoes. Or just Jimmy's girl. But I'm more disappointed at myself. I promised myself to never do this again. I promised myself that Things will not draw into another person like you, dying by my hand. I've tried, I've tried so hard and through great lengths to fight what I was. But I guess see who fights dragons eventually becomes one. <laughs> you, you weren't the first. And I'm afraid if I stray further and further into the abyss, you wouldn't be the last. Far from, far, far from it. Far from being the last. Don't, don't get me wrong. My anger towards Jimmy is still here. And it's the only thing constant in this world, I guess. I just, I just saw potential in you to be part of my group and I thought I could change that well. Simultaneously ruin him. Talk about um, collateral damage, huh? I'm here beside you because I just want to say... <sighs> Shit, you can do this, Alex. Sorry, hotshot. I am usually not like this because I know what I want. And I know things I want to do, but this... This, this is not what I want for you to get hurt when I resorted to violence. You couldn't blame me, right? I was mad. I thought you were hotshot. I thought I, I had you. I thought after all the things I've shown you, you're going to change your mind about him and just destroy him with me. But... Here we are. Here we are. Here where we stand. I'm sorry, I'm just, um, I've been thinking so much about you. And I think that's a problem, huh? I really shouldn't. I shouldn't care. I thought I could just use you for my own pleasure of torturing that stupid Jimmy. It was all just a ruse. 
I already told you that, and for the longest time, I know myself that it would be that way. But as always, Jimmy had to ruin it. Jimmy's a dumb person, and he's so lucky with everything. I hate it. I mean, he got you, right? I thought I shouldn't worry about you, but obviously I'm here, so something in me is very conflicted. Especially about you. I, I don't understand why you got involved with him so much that you shielded him. You took the bullet. You got me so confused. I thought I had you. I thought I had you. Had you. I didn't mean to think like that. But there's something about you that broke me. I didn't mean to. I I didn't mean... I, I just... I, I didn't mean to fall for you. There, I said it. There. Happy. Yes, I, I fell in love with you. You were, you were something hotshot. You weren't just a pawn anymore. And I hate it that I felt that way. I hate it, I fell. Cause you, cause, cause you reminded me of someone before. I thought she wouldn't exist after. And there you were, that stupid dork. At first, I denied everything and just thought that maybe I'm going mad. But getting to know you more and more, you were, <laughs> yeah, you were exactly like her. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to dump everything on you, but Alex here isn't whole for quite some time. And I just want you for myself. I hope you understand Hotshot, right? It's okay if you don't. I'm pretty sure this is new to you. I mean, you haven't had anyone before. But it's alright. This is just gonna be quick anyway. Well, I hope it would. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Listen. Listen, um, I know this is out of what you think I am, but I'm just scared as you. I'm, I'm just as scared as you. Y you know, I'm just really scared. I got dragged into everything too. I'm just as surviving as you. I like to think we all are. I guess even that idiot too. Well, we only eat the food on our plates and Mine is not different than yours. This town has been really rough. I'm just happy a version of her got treated better. I became this <laughs> dorky goody two shoes. God, I feel like I'm not making sense anymore. Fuck, I hate this. God. Okay, calm yourself down, Alex. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say that, um, I, uh, I don't want to mess with you anymore. I don't want you to get hurt. This better hurt deserves a better life. I just wanted to have that same feeling again, but I guess that's gone now, after what happened between the three of us. God, you're so stupid for doing that. So fucking stupid. I hate you. I hate you because I got to experience the same feeling again. I hate you so much because I thought the Alex before is gone, but turns out that kid was just sheltering himself. I hate you because you reminded me of my past I'm trying to destroy already. You keep just rebuilding it, and I hate you because you don't know that you were. 
I already had the plan to change everything about me. Guess things aren't supposed to be easy. It's already hard, honestly. But I guess it's even more difficult now. Okay, I should. My point is, is that I'm only saying this because I don't know if you feel the same. I don't want to cut it already before it gets too complicated and it already is. I'm being the bigger man in this situation. I just want to carry my own stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to visit you because I wanted to let you know and I hope you get better. But that doesn't mean I'll escape like the last time. If there's anything you want before I leave, just say it. I'm not going to be here long, so this is farewell, I guess. I still hope you think about the things I told you when I showed you that cliff. There will be life outside of where you are, Hotshot. You can make your own choices. You're big now. You're not goody two shoes. You're on your own. <laughs> choices. <laughs> That's funny. I actually did let you choose. <laughs> I'm giving you that freedom. <sighs> And it's obvious, since you're here, that you chose the other option. Well, well, this got deep already. So, I guess goodbye, Hotshot. And, um, don't do this again. Please take care of yourself, okay? I really don't know what to say. And I really don't want to say I love you. But I really want to. Because I know I'm going to regret if I don't say it now. I guess it's my choice to make. It's my mistake. So, yeah. Bye. So, um, what do you think? You think, um, hotshot, what, um, or did I say something very weird in there? I think it's really shappy, boss. <laughs> Shut up, Bruce. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's just, um, I just really want to, um, just really want to get this over with, you know? I mean, <laughs> I'm Alex fucking Bosharov. Of course, I just really want to get this over with. You think it's okay? Yeah. Well, by the time she wakes up, I'm going to tell her. <laughs> Don't worry. I got people inside the hospital. So I'll know when she wakes up. God, I hope she wakes up. <sighs> yeah, Bruce. I guess this is a new beginning for the Midnight Snakes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't worry. We'll, we'll flip this entire town around. First, we gotta get rid of that Jimmy, right? <laughs> Just wanna say thank you for being here. Even you, Bruce. Even though you're a lump of, like, you know, rocks. <laughs> well, that's enough drama for today. Alright, let's get back to business, okay? Yeah, we'll see each other soon. Let's just hope that she wakes up. Because I really don't want to... I really don't want to carry this burden. I just really want to say goodbye. We could get coffee. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea, Bruce. Let's get some coffee. All right, let's go. I don't want to love.
for Christmas There is just one thing I need I don't care about the presents Underneath the Christmas tree I just want you for my home More than you could ever know Make my wish come true All I want for Christmas is Oh, it's you. Hello again, Mr. Santos. Hey, Doc. Right on time as always. Did you bring flowers like usual? Um, yeah. I thought that maybe today would be the day. Well, put them on the table. How, uh... How is she, Doc? Well, she's stabilizing. We had just done some electroencephalography tests, and it seems that she's responsive. An elephant what tests? Listen, Doc, you gotta make it easier for me. I barely passed science here. Right. Um, We measured her brain activity earlier today. This is a common procedure. We test to see if her senses would respond to certain things. And we found that she is responsive to sound. She can hear us, Jimmy. What? D- Doc, are you serious? Mm hmm. She can hear me right now. Yes. Uh, well, can I talk to her? She won't be able to talk back, but there's a high chance that she'll understand you. Be my guest. <laughs> You're the best doctor ever, Doc. Probably the top of your class in doctor school or whatever. It's medical school, Jimmy. We've talked about this. Right, right. It's fine. I'm needed elsewhere. If you want to say anything to her, now's your chance. I'll be back soon. Got you, Doc. Hey, take care. Thanks for all the help. I hope, uh, hope you have a good whatever you're, you're gonna do. Mm. Uh, good, goody two shoes. Can you really hear me? If you can, then I just want to say I'm so sorry. I I didn't mean for everything to end up this way. You've been in a coma for so long. It's been over a month now. And I can feel winter coming closer and closer. God, I, I wish you would just wake up. We could celebrate our first Christmas together. I'm not really a rich person, but I want to get you something nice. You know, a nice present. The best present in the world. (sighs) I, um, brought flowers for you. I've actually been bringing you flowers every day. I just walk in hoping that maybe, you know, you'd wake up. (sighs) I don't want you to die. I I don't want you to leave me. (laughs) You're a... You're a real hero, you know. You... You took a bullet for me. I thought I was dead. Should have been me. God, should have been me. I... I should have been the one that was shot. Alex is still out there somewhere. (sighs) I, 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 I'm I'm so sorry, I, after you got shot, Alex ran away, like a damn coward, you, you weren't breathing, I was so worried, (laughs) I don't know if I'll ever forgive myself. Your parents, uh, they hate my guts. They think I'm responsible for everything. Maybe they're right. Your father told me that if he ever saw me ever again, he's going to beat the ever-living crap out of me. I'm not, 
I'm not really good at following orders, so I came to visit you anyways. If you... When you wake up, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna leave this stupid town. We're gonna be together. I'll, I'll protect you from everything. I won't let anything like this ever happen to you ever again. I, just please wake up. Please. <laughs> we could run away. We could go far, far, far away from here. You don't ever have to see Alex ever again. I just please wake up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is all my fault. <sighs> you should have never gotten involved. I'm so sorry. Please wake up, goody two-shoes. I don't know what I'd do without you. Shit, this is all my fault. I think you'd be better off if you've never met me. You had your whole life ahead of you and I fucking ruined that. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, goody two-shoes. <sighs> Jimmy, I'm sorry, but it's time to go now. That's all the time you have for today. I know, Doc. I know. I'll go. I'll see you tomorrow, Goody Two-Shoes. Keep fighting. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Doc. I'll see you tomorrow. Quit staring at me. I ain't crying. <laughs> Well, that's a bit rude. You're watching Central 5 News in the afternoon. I'm Laura, and with me today is my co-host, Darren. Good afternoon, Darren. Good afternoon, Laura. Our top story, tragedy strikes. A horrible crash landing occurred on the East Seas just this morning. There are reported to be four dead and 18 injured. We'll get an exclusive look right at the scene of the crash. But first, big time narcotics bust in a local warehouse up on 8th Avenue. Arrests were made on a notorious gang named the Midnight Snakes. Their leader, Alex Bokarov, is still at large. Presumed to have made a run for it after the recent shootout about a month ago. His whereabouts are currently unknown. Yes, so please be aware of this criminal at large. If you see this man, please contact authorities immediately. <clears throat> On a more lighthearted note, Lost Puppy finds his original owners. Huh? A dog named Is that movement? In the middle of the sidewalk downtown. Can it be? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you see me? My god, it's a miracle. You're finally awake. Do you feel any pain? Does everything feel alright? You feel fine? Excellent. Do you remember anything? Well, let me help you jog your memory. You're in a hospital. My name is Harvey. I'm a doctor. You were in a major confrontation and were shot. You were dead for almost 10 seconds on the scene. Luckily, your boyfriend was able to resuscitate you. He kept you alive until the paramedics came. You were in a comatose state for over a month. As you can see in these x-rays, the bullet was very close to piercing your heart. It's a miracle how you're even alive right now. Yep, you're a lucky, 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 lucky girl. Now, if you'll pay attention to my clipboard, there's doctor, some- Doctor! Doctor! We need you out here right now! Somebody's giving birth in the waiting room! Oh my stars, there's so much blood! Ah! That sounds serious. My apologies, I'll get back to you later. 
This is an emergency. I'm coming! What? You're not a female nurse. What are you doing with that outfit? I'm sorry, Doc. I don't want any hard feelings. Damn, I hated that stupid nurse outfit. <laughs> Looks like you won't be needing this clipboard, huh, Doc? <laughs> I... Hotshot, are you... Are you actually awake? Oh, shit. Um, I... Um... I, I don't know how to start, but... I guess things didn't go as I wanted, and... I guess you got caught up in something I thought y you, you wouldn't be involved, but here we are, but um, uh, who am I? Wh what do you mean, who am I? What, what kind of a question is that, Hotshot? You know who I am. It's me, Alex. You don't remember anything. No, 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 this, this can't be right. This, this was supposed to be the moment I redeemed myself. It's just, I've, I've done so much to get here. D don't tell me that there's something wrong. I, I want, I want to fix this. I want to fix every... It says here in the clipboard that you have... Uh... Amnesia. <laughs> you really can't remember me, huh? Do you remember how you got here? Oh, that's right. There was a conflict. Your boyfriend did resuscitate you. It was a difficult task, but I was able to do it. That's right. I'm your boyfriend. It's me, Alex. Alex Bosharov. <laughs> oh, don't, don't worry, Hotshot. I'll protect you from that, Jimmy. If you can't remember, he was the one who shot you. He put you in this very hospital. He's an absolute menace. Don't you remember? But hey, it's all going to be okay. You're with me now. He's not going to hurt you anymore. Hmm? Your parents? <laughs> Hotshot, don't you remember? You're an urchin. Your parents are dead. I'm, I'm all you got left. Oh, you can trust me, baby. You think I wouldn't be here if I didn't care for you? Come on, give me a hug. I thought you weren't going to make it. There we go. <laughs> I love you. I've missed you so much. I visited you every day. See? I even got you all these flowers. I came in hoping you would one day wake up. Um, why am I wearing this nurse outfit? Oh, uh, uh, I spent Build some coffee on my clothes earlier. The hospital lent me this while I was visiting. They're so considerate. You still don't believe me. Oh, my heart is absolutely breaking. You can't remember your own boyfriend, but if it's proof you want, here. 
remember this. I gave you this before. Here. It's your necklace with a little lock on it. And over here, I have the key. See? You're wearing this key necklace. While I wear this lock necklace. Because you have the key to my heart. Isn't this enough proof, Hotshot? Huh, Mm. <laughs> oh, I've waited to do that for so long now. <laughs> it says in this clipboard that you're all ready to go. Why don't we get out of here and head somewhere a little better? Mm. Hot shot. The doctor told me it's all good. So, come on. Hold my hand. I'll take you anywhere you like and hey I'll protect you doesn't matter where we are or who it is I'll be your guardian okay hot shot <laughs> I love you too Killer swing with that baseball bat hotshot. Now allow me to take care of the noise. I know it's scary at first, but this is what you always did. We're like Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> now get in. The model is a Toyota MR2 Turbo. It's a classic. Cars like these are easier to hotwire since they're so old. Hmm? What are we doing? <laughs> Isn't it obvious, Hotshot? We're stealing a car. Are you worried? No. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Like I said, I'll take care of you. <sighs> this is the life. Driving around like we own this town. Doing whatever we want. I feel alive again. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, you'll see. It's the one spot that we always go to. Oh, it's a pretty high spot. Night is young, so I've decided to do a little reminiscing. Here we are, Hotshot. Our old spot. Cliff. Oh, no, 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 no. Be careful. Jeez, you wouldn't want to fall down. It's really high up. I can recall the last time we were up here. It was you and me in the moonlight. I was scared. I thought the law had finally gotten to me. That's when you said to me, Alex, I, will, I won't let them take you. Your eyes are cold, but your heart is warm. Hug me. Keep me close. So that you can never lose me. <laughs> that was the comfort I needed at time, Hotshot. I won't, I won't lose you again, Hotshot. Not again. I, I won't make the same mistake. 
Yeah. You, you pushed me away. What's, what's wrong with you? I know it seems a bit overwhelming, but I love you. You're my hotshot. You know what? Let, why don't we just go back to the car? I'll show you something. Hmm? What is it? <laughs> just relax, hotshot. This isn't going to hurt one bit. It's just your first time, after all. I'm going to be sweet and gentle. Alex! Well, if it isn't... You snake. I'm right here. <laughs> Drawing first blood already. Jeez, calm down, uh, Jimmy. I... <coughs> you leave her alone. I... <coughs> <coughs> Are you sure you don't want to talk about this first? I'm done talking to you, you piece of garbage. <laughs> you punch <sighs> like a bitch. <coughs> You're not going to ruin our lives anymore, you psycho. <laughs> oh, but who's the real psycho here, huh? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about Hotshot. She has no idea who you are. I'm not falling for your tricks. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Stop. Stop. Ask her for yourself. She's right there, isn't she? I'm not finished with you. Goody two-shoes. I'm so glad you're okay. I can't believe you woke up. I went to visit you every day and... Uh, huh? What? You don't recognize me? No, don't say that. He's just in your head. I'm here. It's me. Jimmy. What's happened to you? <laughs> You're too stupid to realize it, Jimmy. But she's with me. She always has been. She has my hot shot after all. You don't remember me, Goody Two Shoes? What? How could this be? You, you did something to her, you snake. Oh, I didn't do anything. She woke up from her coma. I was the first one to be there for her. Unlike you, who just left. Th that's not true at all. <laughs> Jimmy the Manipulator. I don't believe a word he says. I was the one that saved you. No one else. I, I, I don't understand. This is seriously messed up. Huh? Wait, those necklaces around your necks. Hmm? I, I gave you those. You're talking nonsense. No, I'm telling the truth. The lock and key necklace. I gave them to you, Goody Two Shoes. When we were in school and you were tutoring me, you, you asked me what seven times nine was, and, and I couldn't even answer that properly. I'm a stupid delinquent. But I learned how to love because of you, Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> oh, please. What is this sob story? I gave it to her when she woke up from a coma. You stole it from us when you kidnapped us and kept us in your hideout. I didn't kidnap you guys. You're about to steal money from the Midnight Snakes. I couldn't just let that go unpunished. <laughs> so you do admit that you kept us captive. Jimmy, you piece of shit. You just don't know when to shut your mouth. See? He's lying right through his teeth. I gave you that necklace, Goody Two Shoes. Not him. Please. Please remember. I told you you're going to be wearing that lock necklace while I'm going to be wearing this key necklace because I have the key to your heart. <laughs> don't listen to him, Hotshot. I told her that. I'm the one with the key to her heart. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh yeah? Th then why are you wearing the wrong necklace? <laughs> Hotshot, come on. You can't seriously believe him, right? I mean, I was the one who got you out of the hospital. You were the one who put her into hospital in the first place. This, this isn't... You're an absolute imbecile, Jimmy. You're starting to remember, aren't you, Goody Two-Shoes? Remember, he's always trying to split us. No! He kept us captive in his hideout. Sh shut up! He took a damn bullet for me. 
Don't you remember? He shot you. Do you r remember? You do? Y you do? You do remember? Oh, hell yeah. That's my goody two shoes. Get over here and give me a hug. I thought I lost you. I'm so glad you're here with me. Uh, well, look at the couple, huh? How sweet. Alex. Put the gun down. You've put a wrench in my plans for the last time. Hotshot is mine and nothing will ever take her away from me again. Not you. Not anyone. I won't lose her like I did during the incident. Is that what this is about? The incident? That was years ago. Yes, Jim. It was. But the pain. The pain still kills me to this very day. The hotshot that we knew would never stand for this. Don't you dare talk about her like you knew her. <laughs> There's only one thing I want, hotshot. Listen to me very closely. You're going to have to make a decision. Decision one, come over here next to me. You'll be my hotshot. We'll leave and be happy together. Forever. Or... You could choose decision two. Or I put a bullet for your beloved Jimmy here. Killing him in the cold night. The choice is yours. <laughs> choice is yours, hotshot. Of course, you wouldn't want to hurt your precious Jimmy now, don't you? Now get over here, why don't you? Don't do it, goody two-shoes. Still refusing, eh? <laughs> We've got a fighter. Don't forget your situation. Be mine or else. I'll put this Glock on Jimmy's forehead and spill his brains all over the concrete. Huh? G goody two-shoes. What are you doing? Are you crazy? You think standing in front of him is going to save the both of you? I'll shoot that precious Jimmy of yours. Don't you get it? There's no chance in hell she's ever going to side with you. You've manipulated and used her to get over your sick fantasies. Drop the gun, Alex. It doesn't have to end this way. Shut up, Jimmy. God, for once in your life, shut up! Get over here now, hotshot, or else I'll... I'll... Or else you'll what? What? Shoot her like you did before? I... I didn't mean to shoot her. It was an accident. You put her in a coma. She was lying in the hospital for over a month. I... 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 I she chose me, Alex. You put a bullet through her once. Would you do it again? No, 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 no. No, this can't, this can't be happening. This wasn't how it was supposed to go down. It's the police. They're coming. <laughs> I can't believe this. It's, it's all cr crumbling down. Face it, Alex. It's over. This is the police! We've got this place surrounded! Any attempt to escape is futile! We advise you to cooperate and drop your weapons! Cooperate? I'm Alex Bosheroff, leader of the Midnight Snakes. I've never cooperated with the authority my entire life. Whoa, Alex, be careful where you step. You really think you're going to take me in? You're all going to die! Alex, behind you, you gotta stop! I'm going to kill you, Jimmy. You too, hotshot. You had it a long time coming. Alex, wait! The cliff! <laughs> <laughs> That night, he died. It was one of the craziest nights of our lives. A night where our wills were tested. 
but also the night where our bond got stronger. Hey, goody two shoes, it's me. I uh miss you. Oh, me? Oh, I'm I'm doing fine. Everything is fine. I'm pretty much locked up in here and I can't get out until I've served my time. I can't believe it ended up like this. It's really rough when you're not around. We could be having a delicious steak dinner together. I can cook pretty well despite how dumb you think I am. I'd even pour us some nice wine. Then Afterwards, we could go back to your apartment and cuddle. <laughs> if only I were a free man. Uh, hmm? I, I love you too, Goody Two Shoes. I'm sorry about it all. Hmm? What are they doing? Well, they just keep questioning me mainly. You know. The boys in blue. Huh? What? P police? P what police? Goody two shoes. What are you talking about? P prison? N no. No. No, I'm goody two shoes. I'm talking about work. Why would I be in prison? No, I'm talking about the garage shop. My garage shop. Well, well, the boys in blue. Sweetie, I was talking about the new uniforms. We finally got them in blue like I wanted. Uh, locked up? Well, yeah. I said I'm locked up here. At work. My employees got a lot of questions for me, and I just can't leave them hanging. I am their boss, so I have to serve my time here. <laughs> you really thought I was in jail? What would they even take me in for? My delinquent days are behind me. I'm all done with that shit. It's all car parts and business for me. Me? An idiot? Well, it's not my fault you interpret it that way. It was kind of funny how you panicked, though. <laughs> I bet you just missed me. You do? Huh. Well, goody two shoes, I actually have a confession. Hey, I was lying the entire time. I was done with work like three hours ago. <laughs> it's a prank. Oh, come on, lighten up. It was funny. You really are such a goody two-shoes. Can't take a joke. <laughs> eh? What was I doing for three hours? Well, uh, how do I explain this? I was looking for something in the mall. What was I looking for? Just a little something for my most favorite person in the world. That's you. <sighs> I guess it's just better if I show you. Let me... Get down on one knee. Alright, calm down, calm down. Here. See? It's a diamond ring. 
Yam gonna pop the question. My sweetheart. My darling. My soulmate. Will you... Marry me? No. No, it's not a prank this time. This is... This is real. I would... I would like for you to be my wife, Goody Two Shoes. Uh, y yeah? Yeah? Y you will? Oh my god, you're gonna make me the happiest man alive. <laughs> Come here. I lied about being stuck at work to surprise you. Oh, I love you so much. I can't wait to spend my life with you. Let me turn on some music to celebrate. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yo, 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 it's Langley. Thank you so much for watching the video. First things first, I'd love to give a shout out to my beautiful soulmates. Mary, Lunar Flower Maiden, Violet Galaxy, Tegan, Sarah Diehouse, Only a Potato, Lumi, Seiji, and Tate H. Johnson. Thank you all so much. Of course, I'd also love to give a shout out to Daichi Audios, the man who voiced Alex. Please, please, please subscribe to his channel. He is like 50% of this series. To those of you who have watched this series from the beginning, thank you so much. I wouldn't have had the motivation or the inspiration to do it without you guys. If I could give you all a big hug to the screen, I would. So if you do like the content, make sure you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. You could also follow me on my Twitter. I update myself frequently there. I also stream on Twitch sometimes, so make sure you follow me there as well. You can also join the community on the Discord. And last but not least, if you want the NSFW version of the Sundari Delinquent Bully series, I will soon have it on my Patreon. Links of which will be in the description below. Alright, I'm not really good with goodbyes, but since we're here, I might as well say goodbye, alright? Goodbye!